Oh, what the hell? Wait, what? What is going on, guys? We're back with another video, and we are doing another rebuild on Madden 19 Connected Franchise. It is a realistic-style rebuild, and we're also going to use some real-life rosters. Well, Draft Class, uh, it was the second most downloaded, so hopefully it's decent. I'll probably start fiddling with those a little bit more often now. Uh, but this is the Steelers team. Uh, I did move Le'Veon Bell to starter because I think, in real life, there's a good chance they actually are going to still re-sign him, which is ridiculous to me. But I think... I mean, I don't know. It's actually kind of tough because real life, he's asking for a ridiculous amount of money that you just can't match. But at the same time, in Madden, do I really want James Conner to be the guy who's really not super great in the game? I really don't know. Uh, I think I'm just going to re-sign him. So you have guys like DRC and Free Agency. I don't know where Kareem Hunt is. Uh, I don't know. Maybe uh, another team signed him already. I really don't care. Actually, I do care. I want to see who has him. Damn, did EA just completely wipe him from the game? He's not here. So Shazier's still here, but of course we know. I'm going to, uh, I mean, let's be honest. He's just not going to make it back in the league. I'm going to end this thing right here and now. I'm going to just completely remove him from the NFL, basically. All you have to do is turn him into a punter. Nobody wants punters. Of course, middle linebacker is one of the biggest needs now easily for the team uh, linebacker was already kind of an issue, even with Shazier there. But Dupree, I can't tell what the hell his life's about. Mike Hilton, he usually devs pretty nicely for me, so I might just start him. Morgan Burnett, but look at Terrell. He's better than Burnett. So normally we kind of let the AI deal with uh, scouting, but I kind of want to see what some of the potentials are for the guys. Middle linebacker, obviously one of the big needs for this team. So let's first take a look, see what uh, what this class looks like. So we have imported like 4,658 players. Devin White, obviously, he beat a dream, all right? He beat a dream. Uh, team not really necessarily needing pass rush at this point, but we'll still have that on our list. Is everyone just 20? Everyone's young. Maybe when he made this, they were all 20, which is interesting. Uh, quarterback, I mean, I don't know if there's any guys here that could really go... I don't know, like, do we really want to spend that kind of a pick? There's, I mean, there's some decent names, but... I mean, we'll see. I guess, to be fair, I probably should just let the AI deal with it. I honestly don't even know what I want the team to do, because I want a guy like Devin White, but at the same time, I want guys like Juju Smith-Schuster to develop. So we got Le'Veon Bell. It's not quite as easy as it could be in real life, because uh, Le'Veon's not interested in making top running back money. He's interested in making top NFL money. Which is interesting. Uh, Mike Hilton's a little slow. But I just... There's something about him. He's always good for me. I'm going to go all in with a six year. Uh, so Jesse James. I don't know. Ramon Foster. He'll probably get a deal. But that's an after the season type deal. I think we're pretty much done with re-signing until later on. Here we are in the playoffs. Did we make it? We did not. Alright. So 5-10-1. and one. The Browns won the division at 7-7-2. Seven, seven and two. Interesting. Big Ben, 29 touchdowns, 9 picks, about 4,000 yards. It's not crazy uh, bad. Le'Veon Bell and James Conner definitely shared, shared the load a little bit. Juju Smith-Schuster might have went down in dev. Okay, he didn't. It's because he's young. We got lucky with that because he really didn't play too well. But then again, it's just the team didn't do well in general. TJ Watt was literally useless. Uh, defense was pretty damn useless. Yeah, I can see why we didn't do too well. Um, this is... Not super great here. Let's see if we won any awards. I highly doubt it. There was really nothing we could have won. Best kicker, maybe? We might have got best kicker, actually. Nope, not even that. Number six. All right. I will say that tie is rough, but 5, 10, and 1. That could be decent for Devin White. We'll see. It could be. Okay, so I'm now I'm, I'm all for, you know... New teams doing well, but really, the underdog, really, okay, they lost, but still, that's really the Browns 7-7-2 to the Super Bowl? Come on now. So, Roan Foster, I think, is worth the one-year deal. Let's get him back for at least, you know, just, oh, uh, damn it. Eight mil, that is way too much. Sorry, but I cannot do that. Jesse James, do we still have our other fella? Three-year deal. I'm going to try to lowball him a little bit. He usually does hit free agency. Yeah, I think I'd I'd agree. I'd agree. So Morgan Burnett's like useless. It was a really bad signing. 33 and a half mil. Big name, please. 
Earl Thomas is a big name. Grady Jarrett is a big name, but it's not a big name we need, though. That's the worst part of it. So we're seeing some new names, which is kind of cool, I suppose. Uh, what? I mean, I don't know if any of these positions are really something we can go for. DRC, you could tell, is him because uh, the name is super long. Also, it said DRC, so that's also, you know. Earl Thomas could be worth the money, though. Ooh, only quick dev, though. I think I might skip those positions, actually. Safety is a very big need, though. It looks like tight end is something we're not going to get either. Max Williams, wasn't he already? I thought he was a, a stealer at one point. No? Earl actually accepted. That's kind of shocking. Almost, I almost always have to offer like 10 mil or more above the number. So not a bad overall team. We just got to... Got to really nail a decent draft here. And with the, with the picks we have, we might be looking pretty good. So Devin White, clearly the best bet. And boy, would they love to have him. The thing is, with a guy like Devin White, you're going to be competing with other really good players. So it's going to be debatable if you really want to go that route. I'm glad that the AI did do a very good job of taking a look at everything. So there are a lot of options here for a linebacker. 7.5 grade. Mid third might be worth looking at. Dakota Dixon, I might be wor worth looking at him. Don't have any zone coverage scouted though. So it kind of worries me. Maybe he's not even that good. So we do have two good options here. I don't. Is it worth going a little bit higher? Like, I don't know if we'll have to trade up. I really don't know what our pick is. Is it worth going up higher? We have a couple of third rounds. So honestly, I think what'll happen is I'll get someone in the first. Trade down the second to a third and then just go best available. We have a couple of guys there that I do like. Really, we're mainly just looking at defense. You do have guys like Ed Oliver, though, and Quinn and Williams who look very good. So, I don't know. It really comes down to, I guess, what's there. Like, I don't want to trade up, but there's a lot of other great players there. I will say I'm glad that we didn't do super well, though. There is so many options. I know next year's stuff usually doesn't value high for this year's stuff, but I'd be very interested to trade up for another. Wow, Devin White went number one. There's a couple of linebackers. Ed Oliver goes number two. Nick Bosa goes number three. Greedy Williams. I mean, there's a couple of linebackers there, so as long as one isn't taken here, I'm all right with what we got. So I suppose it was smart because I would have had to trade up to number one. Devin White was great, but was he good enough to trade up to number one? I don't know. Quinn Williams. I mean, there's some decent players here. I think we need a linebacker still, right? I mean, Mac Wilson looks pretty damn good. He's a mid-first projection. What about uh, Devin Bush? He's really good too. He's 21. He's good. I think I'm going to go Mac Wilson. Star Dev, 79 overall. Supposed to go number one. I don't know how true that is. There's a lot of guys that seem kind of that good. I can't be too mad. You know, we didn't have to trade up, and that's that's the biggest factor, I think. Uh, is there anyone else we can go for? I mean, we kind of need line, but I don't think we can go line in the first round. So I believe our next player is going to be in the third round. So second round set, pick seven should be pretty good. Patriots go with a quarterback in the first, which, I mean, it was kind of a late pick, so it's shocking. There's a couple of quarterbacks here. Uh, I'm not really interested in those guys. A.J. Brown, pretty solid. I'm surprised he is actually still here. Wide receiver is a big need for basically every team in the league. Is it a – what? What? I had a guy here. What, is he a late? Are all these guys late? Our guy is still there. He looks pretty good. He's a little slow, like I said. Please be good enough to replace Bud. Okay, so it's clearly glitched. Supposed to go number one. 74 overall. He is very good, though. He just has normal dev. That's the biggest issue. Definitely Bud Dupree's replacement, though. So early fourth, we can't lose him. The linebacker's gone. So I'm gonna go with the I'm gonna go with this lineman right here. Lindstrom. 75 overall de uh, normal dev, 75 overall. Definitely a starter caliber player. Man, we're just nailing the first pick projection for everybody. We're just nailing the draft. Let's take a look at the draft recap. So, uh, Winovich was not super great, but he is kind of young and he does have a little bit of potential. Lindstrom, not bad. Normal dev, though. A lot of normal devs. 
Stidham definitely worth uh, the pick in the fourth. And then Paris could be a replacement for Antonio Brown at some point in the future. Mac Wilson, probably not as good as uh, Devin, but still really good. What is Devin White? Star Dev as well. So, I mean, as long as we didn't have to trade up for him, he's almost like a Shazier clone. So, that would have been nice to see, but it is not the case. Ed Oliver, absolutely disgusting. Nick Bosa, superstar, another disgusting beast. Uh, Greedy Williams, what dev is he? Star Dev, a lot of... A lot of high devs I'm seeing. DeAndre Baker, literally a lot of high devs. Uh, hopefully not everyone was star. Okay, so here's a normal free safety. Obviously our guy was good. Jonah Williams, star dev. De uh, Devin Bush, I was going to go with him. Thank God I did not choose him over uh, the guy we went with. Drew Locke, another. Well, I mean, we seen what we needed to see. So uh, we're going to go back to regular drafts after this season. But hey, uh, not mad with Mac Wilson at all. Of course, going to be our new number one. Winovich will be our new number one on the outside as well. So we're getting, you know, new youthful talent. Joe Hayden's going to get replaced here, basically. So I might try to make some sort of trade for something. I don't know what, but something. Lindstrom, of course, starting at right guard. I like where we're at. Uh, Paris Campbell is going to be interesting, though, because we have James Washington. I really don't know who to start here. We trade Artie Burns, Bud Dupree, and Morgan Burnett for Tavon Young from the Ra 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 Ravens. Uh, gives us a little bit better of cornerbacks, especially with Joe Hayden basically on his last year with us. He dropped down four overalls already, so unless he has an insane season, you kind of can tell where this one's headed. We do need another middle linebacker, but it depends on how our corners develop because that could be, once again, the next... Uh, go to look tight end might be an issue too. Uh, offense, I mean, it really comes down to also Big Ben. What does he do? Stidham's gonna be on the uh, like training and all that, so we don't have to really worry about that too much. Hopefully, he gets a couple upgrades playing. You know that I don't know if he will, but hopefully that's the case. I was just trying to find a fair trade. I really was trying my hardest to get Jared Davis, but it just didn't go. So we have an interesting scenario here because we do have Big Ben on the list here of guys we need to re-sign. We got uh, Pouncey, Gilbert, guys that are kind of nearing the end of their career and with their devs just not going to go up and overall only going to go down. Tavon Young, uh, we obviously just traded for him. We're going to lock him in for a five-year deal. So not really a whole lot of room other than Joe Hayden to move around at cornerback, but I think Joe Hayden most likely does not get a deal. Javon Hargrave, I'll give him a deal right now. He's asking for a very fair price for himself. Especially, well, to be fair, normal dev does drop his value a little bit. Sean Davis probably gets a re-sign. Uh, and then, once again, we're going to have to take a look at the linemen after the season's over. So here we go into the playoffs. We had, what, 5, 10, and 1 last season. This season, um, 9, 4, and 3. Uh, this is the, like the tie division. This division just loves to tie it up. Big Ben, not a lot of touchdowns, but he did pretty well. Le'Veon Bell killed it. About 2,000 yards total. A Antonio Brown barely got over 1,000. Campbell didn't do too bad. Uh, Juju Smith-Schuster is really disappointing. He's got to be normal or quick. Yeah, I was about to say quick dev. He's going up and overall, but that might slowly decrease now. Uh because of that uh, that dev change. TJ Watt, what's your dev, buddy? Quick? Really? Maybe he went down and then went back up. I don't know. Mac Wilson, I have no idea how well he did. Oof, 90. Damn, he's not going to get Defensive Player of the Year. There could be no competition. He still wouldn't get it. So who won Defensive Player? So Offensive Rookie of the Year goes to Hopkins or Haskins. Campbell with number four. Uh, Devin Bush. Barely gets it over Mac Wilson, which sucks. Look at the overall difference just based on that. That really sucks. I don't care about any of the other awards. It was Those were the main ones I wanted to see. So we do have a playoff game, though, which is nice. Uh, Le'Veon Bell has an upgrade. we got a couple of guys with upgrades. Didn't really go up too much this season, which sucks. 86 to their 77. So, I mean, this should be a walk in the park. I don't know about anything else, though, because we seem very inconsistent. I don't. I just don't get it. I just don't get it, you know? We have a pretty decent team. You got Big Ben. You know, you know, think that would do something for your uh, sim chances. Dev pretty much went down on every player on offense, basically. I don't know if offensive line. Maybe Le'Veon Bell not because he, uh, I don't know, kind of killed it. 
But I don't think offensive linemen can drop depth. To my knowledge, I really don't know how you would do that. Maybe if you got injured. But I don't think I've ever seen it. But I also don't think I've ever seen them go up in depth. Or maybe they do. I don't know. It's too much work to remember, okay? So starting off with a couple of big rushing plays. Huge rushing play there. Even Bell already killing it. Probably over 100 yards in the first quarter alone. Defense doing a decent job. Offense gets another three. Defense holds him out for a shutout in the first half. Still lots of football left, and there's uh, proof of it. As we're going to enter the fourth year with, you know, a bit of a toss-up. Touchdown there is big. Dolphins trying to drive. They're kind of stalling out. They do punt the ball. So down by 14. They're going to get the ball back right away, though. They're driving down a little bit, and with five minutes left, they're going to bring this within seven. Le'Veon Bell and company running the ball pretty well, and I think offense finally finished the game out. They had their chance, and they finally took it. Let's take a look at the actual stat line. Look at Big Ben, just like irrelevant. Irrelevant. Le'Veon Bell was deadly good. Three touchdowns, seven yards per carry on 183 yards. It's ridiculous. Uh, defensively, uh, Winovich, oh snap. If that isn't a defensive player of the week, I don't know what is. That's crazy. Three and a half sacks from the 76-77 overall. He actually had an okay season considering, you know, he was a late round type pick. All right, so let's go to the division. Let's see what we can do. I mean, we turned this team around a little bit. I mean, some of it is just base roster skill, but we did draft some pretty damn good players year one. Stidham's almost a 75, so... You know, it's going to come down to what Big Ben wants to do. I think I would re-sign him if he, he wants to play another year. But if he doesn't, obviously, Stidham's going to have the first look at it. So the Chargers, one of the glitchiest sim teams going. Only one overall higher than us. So there's that. I feel like I did a pretty damn good job, to be honest. Like, our Chargers are killing it in our online uh, franchise. And here, they start out with a better team than we did by quite a bit. So, I mean, that's it's impressive. It's impressive stuff. When you turn Jacoby uh, Brissett into an MVP, that's what happens. The Browns will be our opponents if we win this game. Browns are uh, on their way to another Super Bowl potentially here. And uh, we're only up by 10. Defense is doing a decent job. Offense has got to put up a little bit more points, though. I think when they get the ball, there you go. Third and four, Tavon Young. Clutch trade. And there goes Le'Veon Bell for 43. Crazy good decision to re-sign him. Crazy good decision to trade for, well, not crazy good, but seems like an okay decision to trade for Tavon Young. He's, he's devving up a little bit, I think. And here, we're headed to the championship versus the division rival Cleveland Browns. That's ridiculous. I can't believe they're so, like, I get they have a lot of upside, but holy crap, they're so good. I already did a 10-year sim for them, but I might have to revisit them after uh, the season's over. So Big Ben, much better than his first pl uh, playoff game. Le'Veon Bell, not crazy worse, but it technically was worse. Mike Williams was good. Paris Campbell and A.J. Green were... A.J. Green. Antonio Brown. Oh, my God, the brain. What the hell? Very good receivers for us. Here we are, championship round. I mean, year two could be the year. If we win a Super Bowl here, it'd be perfect. Well, not perfect, but pretty close to perfect. I'll be able to do another uh, two seasons, so we'll play four years in a realistic and give ourselves a chance at the Dynasty. But obviously, it comes down to us actually doing that. Did we get any upgrades? We did not. That's all right, though. Mac Wilson really didn't upgrade himself too much, huh? Five overalls from a star dev middle linebacker. I used to get more than that for normal devs, like last year. 86 to 86, so... We kind of whooped up on the Chargers, and they were a bit, a little bit uh, harder of a team. Come on, defense. I know the offense isn't helping, but defense has got to make some plays too. Yeah, this is not going to be a Super Bowl trip. All right, let's slow it down a little bit. You got to score a touchdown here. Are you serious? Finally get in. D I don't know why they went for two there, but okay. The team has a chance. The defense has just got to step up. So you're telling me the Browns are that good? You got to get down the field quicker than this. Fourth and nine, a penalty on the defense. You get that big of a bailout and you struggle. All right, so 11 points now. Defense does do its job. Okay, so things are getting wild, but the clock... Like, this would be so good if the game didn't ruin it. And then, and then the game chews clock. 
He's gonna take a quick throw inside, go down, stop fighting. Let's see, I'm gonna go and ask Matt and see what the game thinks. What a joke. Am I, is my math off? No, the math's not off, so why the hell are they trying to get me to go for it? I get it's gonna be hard as hell to win. Jesus, this wind is a little wild. I get it's gonna be hard as hell to win if you get the onside and whatnot, but it's the only option. There's no question about it. Shouldn't even have thrown the ball that I did throw. It took too damn long to get it going. The fourth quarter is way too late. And the Browns are headed back to a back-to-back -back Super Bowls. Big Ben threw a pick. He outperformed Baker Mayfield, but he did throw a pick, so turnovers are turnovers. They had the same amount of offensive touchdowns as we did. They must have just had... Wait, well, so did... Oh, my God, Miles Garrett killed it. So did they have Michael Jackson, smooth criminal over here. Did they have any defensive touchdowns? They didn't. Oh, they kicked three more field goals than us. Damn, son. That really blows. I thought that was it. I thought it was... I mean, we were... We had a good turnaround game against the Chargers. Rams, Browns again. Boy, would that would be a fun one to watch. Just repeats of the same games, huh? And this time, the Browns win. All right, so Big Ben is still here. Stidham's a 75 overall. Big Ben is an 82, though. Uh, all right, so... I mean, let's get on to the signings, I suppose. We have a lot of money, so I'd be willing to get you know keep most of the guys we have. Big Ben, he wants about 19 mil. I think he'd take less, but I'm just going to give him this. All right, testing free agency. 25 mil tag. If a quarterback is leaving you, Will, like he's willingly leaving you after you give him that kind of money, I'm not going to chase him. I'm just I'm just not going to. It's three years, but I will. Okay, everyone's just leaving. I hate all of you. I, I hope you guys all tear your ACLs. That's all I'm saying. Well, we're going to have a lot of money free for free agents here. I can't believe Big Ben actually didn't want to re-sign. I gave him what he was asking for, a fair deal. And he just said no. So wide receiver, not really a big need, but Antonio Brown's getting older. Is Big Ben the actual best quarterback here? He is. Uh, a one-year deal is fair. You know, the, with the fact that nobody wants him, I'm going to lowball him a little bit here. He deserves it. An actual scumbag. Like, what is his deal? See what Big Ben wants to do. I mean, I'll start sit him. I don't care. Eckler did accept. And then Big Ben also accepted. So, one more a year. One more a year. And we need offensive linemen. I probably should have taken a look and seen what kind of offers the guys we couldn't get were actually getting offered. But it may be too late now. Oh, Josh Sinton's not getting an offer. This could be huge business. He might save us because there's no one else. I don't know why he's not getting an offered. So we offered another couple of guys. So we have Sitton. We do have Jalen Mills now. I mean, we're moving our money around pretty efficiently here. Uh, I really don't know why we have so much money. But it might have to do with something that we don't have, like, crazy good superstars. Like, really, our biggest superstar is Le'Veon Bell. I know we have Antonio Brown and all that. But I don't know. We're just we're not really that expensive somehow. So wide receiver Devon Clem. He actually looks pretty damn good. His uh, agility is oh, 24, though. Yikes. I know like we're not planning on playing all these seasons, but I don't care. <laughs> That's gross. I don't want it. Run stopper. Ooh, late first. Nick Vasquez. Cornerback's a need because we are not. We don't have anyone that's like, ooh, this guy could be really good. Holy crap. Early second, but he's an early. Wow. I'm going to have to put him on the board here. The cornerback's not really a big need because we have some guys, but none of them are like maybe Tavon Young's got a chance, but none of them are really, in my opinion, primed to be great players. So we traded 29, 93, and 125 for 17. Maybe undervalued him a little bit, just a little bit. Not a whole lot, though. Actually, a decent bit, to be fair, but <laughs> it is what it is. Who is there? So Dawson Price is actually pretty damn good. This stuttered guy's good. If there's no corners there, I could go with him. So Nick Vasquez is there. I don't think I can pass on him. He's too good. 81 overall quick dev. He's supposed to go number three. The thing about this is, though, he is a 4-3 linebacker. So he could drop major points if we move him to middle. 
but that's just the risk I was willing to take. We really don't have a whole lot of guys outside. I mean, I could really take like this Tyrone Stuttered guy could be a really good corner. So trade of the second pick, Mills and 81 with the Seahawks. I know we just got Mills and we kind of just blew the load, but I think Stuttered's really good. Please be cornerback material. Quick dev, 80 overall, supposed to go 9. We took him 19. Hybrid, no real zone coverage, but he's a good man. Coverage guy, great catching. I think he can play corner. I think he can play corner. I'm hoping so, at least. He had more potential than the other guys we had, so. The worrisome part I have, though, is I had a couple of linemen that I don't think I'm going to be able to get anymore. So, of course, we traded out. I don't know exactly what we might have missed out on. I think there was a corner. I can't remember exactly his name. Uh, and then I really want to see this tackle. It's not like he was the greatest tackle of all time, but I just wanted to see, did I uh, did I really miss out on a potential sealer of the draft? So we ended up with only two players, but it was pick 17 and 19. Nick Vasquez, pretty decent player. Has a lot of trades, holy crap. Uh, and then Tyrone Stuttered, quick dev. Not a whole lot of trades, but probably our new number two corner. Yeah, I want to see the running back as well. So Marquise Geddes, I have no idea who was who. This could have been the guy we were actually planning to take near the middle to late part of the draft. Cotton, I mean, there's so many different names here. I just can't even keep up with them. Here's Dawson Price, normal dev, but boy, was he a fast guy. Holy crap. I love how they give him, like, no ability to break tackles, even though he's super fast. It's one of my pet peeves. O.C. Steffens, 85 overall running back. All right. Here's Pack 80 overall, quick dev. A little slower than he probably should be, but really good, powerful guy. So here's Bates. He went number 27 in the fourth. Normal dev, 75 overall, and I would not be mad with him. That kind of sucks. Definitely would have been worth a fifth round pick. So it's year three. This is usually where we cut it off, but we're definitely going to do at least four seasons. Uh, hotel. James Conner on the block. Same with uh, James Washington, maybe Switzer. Uh, Antonio Brown, how old is he now? 32. Ooh, only quick dev. He's got a very limited amount of time left in him. We really need, for one, DeCastro needs to play like right tackle or something. He can't be playing center with his talent. Please be a beastly corner. <laughs> I'm going to die. So what does he do? Does he have like clutch or anything? Does Oh, yeah, he did. Not di oh, yeah, it was him. Was it? I don't even know. All right, cornerback, come on. Let's see, what do we got? All right, okay, so that's not bad. 70, he drops a few. Now, here's the real moment of truth. Vasquez at middle linebacker. This one's worrisome. He basically had every trade under the sun. Come on. Okay, so he drops down quite a bit in fairness, but it could have been worse, I guess, maybe. I don't know. I mean, I keep saying it, so maybe it's true. We did go down in overall a little bit, but I like where we're at. What is Parrish? I keep calling Parrish. Paris Campbell. I think his Excel went up one. It's a pretty decent player. He just needs to get that catch and traffic up. We have some value here. Is any offensive lineman in free agency? That'd be nice. So James Conner, he is definitely uh, starting caliber talent. We could use a tight end, too. Is there any tight ends around the league? Oh, Vance is still a 79. So damn clutch, man. I think it's because he's run blocking. So we trade James Conner and Switzer for Gasicki, who's pretty damn good. Uh, I can't be mad with him. Uh, and I think it's a fair trade for both teams. They need a running back really badly. We don't even need a tight end that badly either. The, did they, ironically? But, I mean, I suppose I need the tight end a little bit more than anything. Now we need a lineman. Can we get some? I mean, I don't even, it doesn't even need to be a good player. Just somebody that's better than, like, a six overall. This is a fair trade. They get James Washington and Vince Williams from Mitch Morris, who's a very good... Well, not very good, but... 81 overall, 28 years old, center. Fills the final position of need on the line, which I think actually could be center. Yeah, this is actually legit center. As long as we can get DeCastro actually moving over to tackle, Kasiki's going to move up to number one tight end. Uh, I think we get a little bit thinner, but we do get cheaper and younger and just better. So this should be another really good run. Question is, will we actually get, a, get to see the chance of Stidham as a starter. Head into the midseason, see if we have any guys to resign. I know guys like Big Ben will need a contract. I think this would be the last season from Big Ben unless he just 
killed it and got superstar dev because he won like a bunch of awards but i think it's time to negotiate who do we have in the list so juju smith schuster needs a contract right now which is okay because i'm gonna give him a seven year massive deal boosh uh so tj Watt wants a deal i mean that's really favorable for us for a guy like tj so the Steelers are actually not a bad team to rebuild or just use if you're gonna you know look for a team to use in your franchises so uh, a guy like sin i don't know if he'll even be here but if he is probably gets a one year usually last you know it might be a 78 overall cameron hayward a three-year deal is kind of rough 85 power move what's the block shed 85 he is pretty good though let's i mean we'll see kind of maybe wait on that so I normally don't show this, but the fact that we are nine and four, and the Browns are eight and five, and we play them two out of the last three games, this is crazy important. All right, who wins the first of the matchups? Ten and four, come on. Yes, ten and four. I'm not saying that guarantees us the playoffs, but that's looking bad for the Browns. Do we win? We do, and the Browns—they look like they just choked the season away. Do we get a bye week? We do. So the Browns do win that game. Was that enough to put them in the playoffs, though? Let's see. AFC side. It was. They sneak in. Damn it. Such a big game that we really needed to win, man. So of course, looking at the schedule, we win 11-5. and five. It's not shockingly good. It's just, I don't know. Maybe you wanted to see uh, every game and how it went. I don't know. Big Ben, 3,500 yards, 30 touchdowns, 9 picks. Kind of the way he's been, uh, you know. The way he's been, you know, like Ben, Ben, sorry. Uh, so receiving just terrible. I mean, it just, it's gross. Juju Smith-Schuster is probably quick, right? So we paid him like a star receiver, even though he's quick dev. It's only a Browns quick. I don't know what the hell that's all about, but there's that. Uh, defensively, Wisevich or whatever his damn name is. Winovich, not good. TJ Watt, probably normal dev. No, god damn it. Two, what's his dev? To its dev is quick. All right. Any major pick totals? Four for Hilton, three for Terrell. Stuttered with two. All right. So Mike Hilton might be a decent dev. Three upgrade points. Star dev. All right. Like I said, there's something about him. He usually does very well. Uh, the backup middle linebacker. What was his name? Whatever his name was. So Vasquez. Oof. Probably did not upgrade very well on the season. Maybe I should have put him at number one. Any, you know, we should have something. I don't know what award, but some sort of award. Ah, oh, stuttered. You barely miss a Blavion Bell, DeCastro, and that's it. So, I mean, we got a couple of awards. Did we get a bye week? We did, didn't we? So, we got one bye week. Let's take a look at what overall the team is. Did Stidham upgrade at all? He's a 70, oh, 79. So, let's take a look. So, this is what the team looks like. Uh, offensive line didn't move one bit. Kasiki is an 80 overall. Uh, Juju Smith Schuster still below Antonio Brown, which is crazy. Uh, running backs, you know, it is what it is. Paris Campbell, not really upgrading too much, but he's he's gone up what five or six. It's not bad from normal. Stuttered went up a few overalls. Hilton, even though he started having he had four picks, didn't really go up a whole lot. Vasquez went up four. Wilson's now an 88. I mean, it's not an insane team by any means. But it is probably good enough to win or at least make it to the Super Bowl. 89 overall to the 85 Jags. So, yeah, I, I would say we're probably one of the best teams in the AFC right now. Take away the P and it's itty, which is stupid. Uh, let's go to the end of the game. Oh, big run by us. Le'Veon Bell kills it always, but specifically in the playoffs. Get three points before the half. It's clutch up 20 to 3. Jags, I would assume... Oh, Jesus, slow down. I would assume uh, they've moved on from Bortles, but the way their offense is playing, maybe not. And boy, are they coming alive, but defense holds on. Gave us a little bit of a scare there, but yeah, I mean, were we really worried about it? Bortles is still their quarterback, and he outperformed Big Ben, so I, I don't know. But then again, Le'Veon Bell, 183 yards, just like the last first playoff game. One touchdown, a little bit worse yards per carry. D.D. Westbrook, Day Day, whatever the hell his damn nay name is. Uh, gets a lot of yards there. Uh, Chase Winovich, two sacks, which is like one less than he had on the entire season. I don't know what it is about the playoffs, but he just gets riled up, and he just gets the pressure. 
I don't know what it is. Wish you could bring it like that all season long. Just like that, we're already in the conference championship. Is it going to be the Browns? Oh my lord, I hate this team. If I wasn't so like... I don't know, I'm just like... Oh wow, they're a 91 overall. Damn, Denzel Ward's like a 99 overall. I'm just committed to this thing. I really want... You know, if it wasn't for how committed I feel to this, I probably would just end this thing if we lose to the Browns because they're just... They're dominating. I don't know what the hell is going on, but they're just so good. We are down by four. Slow it down. So we do have the ball. Huge gain to Parrish Campbell. Come on, convert. There you go. Touchdown. We take the lead back. Ten minutes left. This has got the makings of like an epic game. I know the score isn't crazy good. Third and five. They get six, and they're going to take the lead right back. Come on, Big Ben. We brought you back for this type of game. I don't know where the accent went from. Four-yard line. I want to see if they're going for this. I think you have to. They are going to go for it. So they, I mean, you have to go for it there. And they do get it. Clutch as hell. A run on... Wow, that's... Le'Veon Bell is just sick. He's he's ridiculous. This is not good. This is not good. Is this going to OT? Did they lose? Did they run out of time? Please don't tell me they got a touchdown. They look kind of mad. They lost. EA screwed them. I don't care because EA is the Browns. It is what it is. Baker Mayfield outperformed Big Ben. Big surprise there. Le'Veon Bell did have two touchdowns to their one. So a very even offensive performance for both teams. If you if you kind of subtract a touchdown here, add one there. Uh, sack totals, we didn't get involved at all. No picks for either team. Kicking, we were one for one. There was like no return. I mean, this was a really weird one. But guess what? Browns finally... Their, their reign of going to the Super Bowl has ended. It is Pittsburgh time, baby. Can Big Ben ride off into the sunset with another ring? It's against the Rams, who have went to three straight here. We finally get to take a crack at them and see what overall they are. We also had a decent bit of upgrades, so hopefully that can uh, give us a little boost. 90 to 90. This is epic. Now, my tune might change here. If we actually win this thing... I might debate ending it there. I don't know. It depends on how epic, epic of a game it is. If we, like, blow them out, I'll probably do another season. It's just going to be weird. I didn't... I don't know. See what we can do early on. Somebody was driving. They couldn't get it in there. So right to left is them, and they are putting up some points. We get down the field, but we only score three. Okay, that was big. That was really big. Uh, this is not good. Okay, there you go. Okay, I probably shouldn't be slowing it down yet. But start of the fourth quarter, it's down by three. What a comeback in that third quarter. Third and four penalty on the defense. That's bad. They're driving and they do score. So we're down by ten. You got to score at least three here. And they're going to get only three. Oh, that's the dagger. Todd Gurley more than likely with a huge run. We do score the touchdown on fourth down, though. Down by seven. I'm going to watch this. Third and six. Who do I use her? Because if I use her, the D-line, I'm ruined. I'm just going to play this deep safety. Kind of on a big position here. And you got to hit him, and he doesn't. Do have all three timeouts. I'm going to call one for him because, of course, they are going to call those timeouts anyways. Oh, it's a counter. Oh, no. He cuts it right back in, and he gets a huge gainer to the 50. Pinch blitz. Come on. They could, they could throw the ball here. They already did it once. Oh, God, they are going to throw the ball. What the hell? Uh, if I had a timeout I could use, I would call one. Underneath, he's wide open, and the Rams win the Super Bowl. Oh, my God, the Rams are OP. Well, that's a dynasty. Rams win uh, their second in three years. I think they won the first. Then they lost the second, won the third. The Browns are like, we could have done better than that. Uh, screw you, Browns, all right? You're just mad. Big Ben threw over 400 yards. He did also throw two picks. The, the playmakers on this team kind of let him down. Todd Gurley killed it. I mean, he went right off. Le'Veon fumbled. Big Ben threw two picks. I mean, your biggest player was Parrish Campbell, basically. Two picks for them, both from the safeties as well. That's just, I don't even know how that works. That really blows. But yeah, we'll do another season, I suppose. Final season, win the Super Bowl, lose the Super Bowl, make the playoffs, don't make them. Last season, we might see Stidham here. Big Ben is still here. He's only a 79 overall, though. 
Big Ben got us to the Super Bowl. I mean, I think I have to give him the deal, don't I? What do you mean you're not interested? You swallow ween. He actually swallows the weens. I hate everyone. Like, I actually hate everyone. Cameron Hayward. I don't even care. Screw all of you. We'll get new players. Underperformers anyways. 61 mil. We got a young quarterback. Uh, Deshaun Watson. Damn it. Travis Kelsey. Uh, Tariq Cohen. Philip Lindsay. Sue. Sue could be a really nice pickup. Andre Hall. We have no right end. Derek Barnett really can't fit that unless he's just a stud. Melvin Ingram. I might get Sue and put him at right end. We have tons of money. Where I mean, what do you want to save it for? I'm going to overpay the hell out of him. And by overpay the hell out of him, I mean basically normal Sue money throughout his career. He's, I mean, he's been a great player. Don't get me wrong. It's not like he hasn't earned it, but what a fortunate fella. You know, I'm just saying, like... Do we go with Philip Rivers? Do we clutch this thing out with Felipe? I think we do. Screw it. This is getting interesting. Nah, you don't. You just don't do that. That's not a realistic move. You've been, you know, grooming Stidham to be the guy. He's a 79 overall now. You know, he's basically the overall that Big Ben was when he left us. It's kind of a rough spot, though, because if we want him back... I would assume he's going to need a contract this year, so I don't know how that's going to work. Sue accepts. Big deal there. That's a huge one. I'm going to put him at right end. I think that's the best move for him. Superstar to have. He's super good. 86, 87. Oh, that's not bad. I mean, he's a big fella. Good stuff there. I mean, what position we really need in? Earl Thomas is still clutch as hell. Star to have. 89 overall. He's went down like one overall in three years. That's impressive. Uh, Winovich, I mean, what's his dev? Star dev. I mean, that's not bad. He's a really good player, actually. He just doesn't perform. I don't understand how that works. We need a new lineman. So I would say offensive line is really the only uh, only look that we need to take. So pick 31, offensive line is the need. Oh, what the hell? I know how the draft works. So I'm trading 31 and 63 for pick 18. And I want to grab whatever lineman I can get, either the center or the tackle. I doubt the tackle is going to be there. Jalen uh, Booker. Really curious to see what that guy's like, though. He's probably going to be sick, but slow as hell. Oh, here we go. Star Dev, 77 overall. Not mad with it one bit. I'm just going to take whatever best available comes to me here. This is the last year anyways, after all. And the team is pretty good still. It's just we're not going to, you know, we're not really upgrading, even though we have good players. A lot of rough devs as well, I think. So draft recap. Who do we grab? Just one player, right? All right. So let's take a look at the wide receivers now. So Perriman. Went number one overall. Star dev, 22 years of age. 96 catching, 99 medium route, 96 spec, 94 jump, uh, 93 stamina. I mean, that's worth it. 84 speed is bad, but with 22 years of age, that's interesting. That guy's really good. Uh, Clayton Trucks. There was another guy that was really good. Oh, here he is. Trayvon e. Carroll. Like I said, I think the best player in the draft. And look at how fast he was. I mean, that's just ridiculous how good he is. No jumping, kind of the way that it is for the shorter shorter speed guys. Uh, what was the tackle we wanted? What was his name? Wheatley. Fernando Wheatley. Quick dev. Not even as good as the guy we got, so I'm not even mad. It costed us a bit to get up there, and uh, we didn't even grab another player, but it was a position of need. This is Stidham's team. Come on, team. We can do this. I believe. I believe in what we can do. Which is hopefully this. It's going to be on uh, interesting though because Stidham's going to want a contract. So we might have to sign guys like Wilson. I know we might have to sign... We might have to sign Stidham, do we? Well, that's actually kind of bad that we don't have to because if he does well here... I'm going to give... Con you know, these guys probably get a contract. I'll give uh, Edmonds a contract now because he's obviously going to get a deal. Not going to matter since we're not even going to play this after this season anyways. But just, you know, get it out of the way. Kasiki will give him a five-year deal. Not asking for much. His head looks so weird compared to his body here. But that's another story for a different day. I think DeCastro, Antonio, and Sue would be guys you have to wait on. 
So we're going to the playoffs. I mean, what, three straight if we get this? We do 11 and 5. Browns. <laughs> Could you not? Could the Browns not? We actually finished pretty poorly. I can tell you that for a fact. Uh, we lost three out of our last four. One of them being the Browns. I hate the Browns. I really do. I really just don't like them. I don't like them. So Stidham, uh, pretty damn good. Pretty damn good stats. Can't be mad with it. Le'Veon Bell just killing it throughout. Antonio Brown just inches away from 1,000 yards like every season. It's ridiculous. Villanueva needs to be replaced. Nick Vasquez, I don't know if he just, I don't know where he came from here, but had a pretty damn good uh, season. Sack totals, not bad. Pick totals, four for Edmonds. Good timing to sign him, I'd suppose. He probably went up in dev. Nor he went down in dev. All right, if you say so. What dev is Stidham now? He started with quick. All right, quick dev. He's not bad. He's all right. Let's look at the awards. Uh, Stidham, did he win anything? Le'Veon Bell, Offensive Player of the Year. Nice. Stidham number two. Damn. Hope that's his name. It's probably like Stidham or something. Like Every time I see a name that's literally said how I say it, or it's spelled how I say it, somehow it's some weird way to say it. It's like Shaquem Griffin is like Shalik or something. Something somehow randomly just doesn't make any sense, but it is. 79 overall Raiders make it to the, the playoffs after four years. Okay. I really, really can't wait till we lose here. 90 through overall to their 79. Their best receiver is an 80 overall. <laughs> like, what the hell do you want? You just missed Schuster. Really shouldn't even be upgrading, honestly. Like, we're just not having good season. We're definitely built to run the ball. But hey, it works out. We made it to the Super Bowl. Raiders already have seven points. Finally, Le'Veon Bell cracks one open. We're used to him doing that. We're up only by three at half. That changes. The Raiders are up by four. We take the lead back to three. Slow it down. They take it back to four. And like I said, I can't wait till we lose to the Raiders, and it's about to happen. 79 overall team is about to win the game against us. There you go. Huge play. Oh, two huge bombs down the field. And then they get one. What the hell is going on? What the hell is this fourth quarter? They're going to win the game. And they do. They actually win the game. James Connors, their running back. How fitting. Only way for us to win is to block it. And I don't even know who Franklin is, but he's probably a backup. Come on. And I don't get it. One timeout. Or one timeout. One second. If they kick this deep, we at least have a chance. I'd probably kneel this, though. Or not kneel it, but fair catch it. I don't... Like, do I just let the AI do it? Because Le'Veon Bell has a chance sometimes. Play action deep cross. Antonio Brown. They have, like, two corners on that side. I don't, like... This play is good, but it's not the type of play to get you the touchdown. I'm going to go to to Campbell here. Come on, Campbell. Make a play, and it's overthrown. Well, we lose in the first game against the Raiders, who are a 79 overall. I like it. I love it a lot. 2.1 yards per carry was enough to dominate us. A tight end, who is probably like 72 overall, killed us. I love how Sim is just random. It has nothing to do with overalls or anything. It's great. It's great stuff. It really is. You have such a good team, and it's just, you get, get cucked so hard. I mean, we built this thing super hard through the draft. Please be the Browns. I can't wait. I hate the Browns. I hate them. I hate the Browns. And of course they win. I think they actually snuck out a dynasty there. So the Rams and Browns win all four Super Bowls. That's crazy talk. We're a 90 overall team. It was a fun one. Uh, we drafted quite a bit of guys. You know, Mac Wilson, Vasquez, uh, what a stuttered. Winovich, he was actually pretty decent. And he didn't really do well in the regular season, but he killed it in the offseason. Stidham, I don't know if he's going to be in the thumbnail or the, the title. He had a good last year, but it wasn't really much to show for throughout because obviously we just kept letting Big Ben get that one-year deal on us. But hey, if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like, maybe subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Twitter, Jerome P. Care. I would appreciate all these things. If you have any ideas for, uh, you know, a new series or something in the comment, you know, leave me leave in the comment section.
Hope you guys come back for next video, but until next video, see ya! If you're looking for more of me, take a look at these social medias, and also take a little bit of a look at our Red Dead Redemption 2 series on my second channel, PK or Play. No, I need to find the Chinupa. Chinupa. Taco Bell sells one of those, I think. Put it in. Stick it in me. I mean, what? Look at the horse differences. It's not about the size of the horse. It's about the size of the horse's weenie. Hey, uh, humbe, hey, uh. All right. If you say so, buddy. I don't know what the hell you just said, but I agree. I do keep all that's hidden from myself. I don't know what the hell kind of drugs that guy's on, but Jesus, hopefully that dollar buys him some more. Oh! Uh-oh. Oh! Oh! Oh my god.